the second unfinished Antonov 225, which has been sitting in a storage yard for the past 30 years, may be given new life by a Chinese company. It is agreed to redevelop parts that were not designed, the Antonov CEO reportedly stated in May 2011 that the completion of a second RIA transport with a carrying capacity of 250 tons will cost at least $300 million. The second plane, on the other hand, is already 60 to 70 percent finished. This could be the new Antonov 225 aircraft, which brings a more classic to modern touch to the technology. About the Antonov 225 During the 1980s, the Antonov Design Bureau in the Ukrainian SSR of the Soviet Union designed a strategic airlift cargo aircraft. With a maximum takeoff weight of 640 tons, it is the heaviest aircraft ever built, powered by six turbofan engines. The Antonov 225 was created as a larger version of the Antonov 124, designed to transport Buran-class orbiters. In 1988, the only Antonov 225 plane was completed. It was put on hold for eight years after successfully completing its Soviet military missions. After being refurbished and reintroduced, it is now in commercial service with Antonov Airlines, transporting oversized payloads. The Antonov 225 took to the air for the first time on December 21, 1988. The company intended to build two planes, but only one, the Antonov 225, was completed. The second Antonov 225 was built in part for the Soviet space program in the late 1980s. The lone operational Antonov 225 was placed in storage in 1994, following the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 and the cancellation of the Buran program. The six Ivichinko Progress engines were removed and stored for use on Antonov 124s, as was the second unfinished Antonov 225 airframe. A cargo liner larger than the Antonov 124 was clearly needed in the 1990s. By 2001, the first Antonov 225 had been restored. The need for additional Antonov 225 capacity had become apparent by 2000, so in September 2006, the decision was made to complete the second Antonov 225. The second plane was supposed to be finished in 2008, but it was postponed. The aircraft had not been completed by August 2009, and work had been halted due to a lack of financial support for the program that is still unfinished and turn it into an air launch to orbit platform for commercial satellites at altitudes up to 39,000 feet. The Chinese company is not interested in buying the already operational aircraft. They've spent the last few years researching the feasibility of modernizing Antonov's 225, an unfinished plane that's been sitting in a hangar, at the company's sprawling corporate campus in Kiev, for the past 30 years. When modernized, this aircraft could provide China with a heavy lift capability that rivals that of any other country in the world, possibly even surpassing that of the US military. The purchase agreement for the existing Antonov 225 airframe is similar to China's nearly 20-year-old purchase of a Ukrainian aircraft carrier hull. That hull, which was commissioned by the Soviet Union, was rebuilt and modernized over the course of two decades. China has signed an agreement to resume production of the Antonov 225, with the first model expected to be procured and flown by 2009 for many years, but there is a chance that China will build a similar range of 225 Marias in the future. It will be a precast design for future jumbo freighter aircraft. Please let us know what you think of the Antonov decision in the comments section below. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe to our channel.
If you liked our video please subscribe to our channel.